In Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, C-3PO tells Han Solo, Sir, the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1, indicating that traveling through one of the galaxy's asteroid clusters is potentially life-threatening. Many people have hung on to the belief that the asteroid belt is littered with these huge, rocky objects just waiting to strike any spacecraft that passes by. Find out what you'd actually be facing in a galaxy far, far away today on Cool Stuff, Strange Things. While it's true that the universe contains millions of asteroids, some of which that can be hundreds of miles wide, it's unlikely that a ship would collide with any of them in the main asteroid belt. The chances of hitting one is actually less than one billion. The asteroid belt, which is located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, contains rocky objects that range in size from a speck of dust to 590 miles across. It is unclear how many asteroids populate the belt, but it may consist of billions, maybe even trillions of asteroids. Fortunately, they are widely spread apart, allowing us to safely explore the area. In 1972, scientists launched the space probe Pioneer 10 into the asteroid belt. Images from flyby missions revealed that the rocky objects had miles of space between them. And by miles, we're talking like 600,000 miles. To put that in perspective, the distance between the Earth and the Moon is 238,855 miles. Needless to say, this mass distance would allow a spacecraft to harmlessly navigate that section of the solar system, which spans a whopping 140 million miles, by the way, without colliding with an asteroid. So, sorry, C-3PO, your theory is a big C-3 no. Are there any other Star Wars or pop culture theories you'd like us to debunk? Let us know in the comments below, and you can catch the answer on an upcoming episode of Cool Stuff, Strange Things.